Hello, I am Hella Jongerius, born in Holland and recently moved to Berlin, where I live there right now. You have dead design pieces and you got pieces that are alive, that has energy, that has blood in it, that has innovation in it, that has a meaning, a reason to exist. This is, uh, are the products that are alive uh, and there are not many of them. There are a lot of dead design animals in the world. If I make something or if I see something what is designed very well, I see a product or an object or a collection that is uh, pushing an envelope and it's addressing something. It's innovative and that can be in many, many ways. It can be sustainable, can be uh, celebrating historical knowledge. It can connect crafts with industry. Uh, it could be service-oriented, half fabrication in design. It doesn't have to be a finished product. And we as designers, we have to ad address something in our work. And that is our responsibility. And if you don't push your profession and do just answer questions, what comes out of the market, then yeah, I think you miss something. You, you just fill the world with dirt. A good design, what is tolerant and all the other subjects you talk about, I think they all have to have a human scale in it. We are still in the crisis, so that's very good. I really, really like it that there is a crisis. Um, because it was, we all know it was, it was too much of everything, too much designers, too much stuff, too much magazines, too much web blogs, too much galleries, too much industry. So it's very good that we have a, a, a crisis because quality will always survive. And in this, in the high, conjuncture that we had the last 10 years. Uh, the top stayed always small, the top of quality, the, 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 the good industry that really innovate and, uh, and are working on qu with quality and the designers that are, have, there's only a few little group of very good responsible people uh, that are designing and uh, but the base of the pyramid but yeah, it was built up very big, so, but in the top, it didn't grow that much on quality, in the quality level. Uh, what is very important that you have always in mind, is it necessary that this product, do we need this product? And you really need a good reason to come with a new product on the market. So I think you have to be responsible. And also, you know, I think a lot of designers are just following economic rules. Like they are asked to do a new thing. They do a new thing. They make a bigger studio. They take commercial jobs, whatever, and nobody really goes for research. Research in their field, finding new solutions on their own in initiative, because industry doesn't have money for that. So you, don't, you, you can't wait forever. So you ha it has to come from out of yourself if you want to come with another path. I find that very 
normal values, the values that I'm brought up with, that you, uh, if I buy something, that I trust it, that people have done the very, very best to make a good product and not to rip me off in quality or in, or in, in poison materials or in whatever. So I think everybody have their own, yeah, you have to have a consciousness. I would like to see that our creative minds, our creative intelligence, we use it much more than only making a new chair. And this thinking, thinking, creative thinking is more than only intelligent, is more uh, creating new path of an, yeah, m global issues or smaller issues, doesn't matter, but uh, I think it's also more about having the questions than giving the answers. I hope we made all the mistakes and that we have learned from it. And we made already a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so, yeah, what I have always the next generation is really m more. Yeah, I see, if I look at my children and a generation on the schools, not on, maybe not on the, high, on the, on the, you know, not the one, the, the students that are 20 or something, but really the younger kids, they are so responsible for the world and they are so much more aware than we were, than we are. So I really, I hope I can learn from them and, and uh, so I, I have a good, I think we are, our generation are making the mistakes and in 2030 they are in charge and, and they make a better world. Well, I have the intention to address something and to push something forwards and to have reasons that are true if I design something. Um, but I must admit, admit that I'm also making products and uh, my language is in an object. Although lately I'm more into research and I'm also doing more service oriented jobs, you know, that it's not it's more advisory and trying to research within a company, within their archives and uh, build on knowledge, on old knowledge and uh, yeah, make products that uh, yeah, are have more reason to exist than just being a shape.